Hey pretties, it's Patty, or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have for you guys my hygiene routine, my feminine hygiene routine, my in-depth hygiene routine. If you click on this video, you're either subscribed and you love me, you love my face, and you're just going to watch every single video, or you're intrigued, you're wondering, what can I add to my hygiene routine, or am I doing enough, am I doing too much, what's really going on here? I'm here to tell you everything you need to know as a woman. You know how to keep yourself smelling nice, good, because, you know, me, I never always smell good. But now I get compliments all the time. You smell good. Da, da, da. I'm like, okay, maybe I'm doing something right. And I am. So, yeah, I'm just going to tell y'all my hygiene routine. Get y'all all my products, not gatekeeping. Tell y'all what y'all need, what y'all don't need. And, yeah, let's get into the video. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe. Y'all tend to like my hygiene videos, so I'm going to keep it going, right? This is also like my back-to-school hygiene because I'm going to college. Yeah, so if you're back to school, you're trying to make sure you have everything, make sure you have these hygiene essentials, and yeah, let's get into this video. Number one, people say this all the time, but it's so true. You need to hydrate. You need to hydrate. Not saying you need to get a Stanley, but I definitely recommend getting a water bottle. I was never going to be a Stanley girly. I caved like a week ago, and I've been obsessed with chlorophyll water. Um, This is a brand I use. I got this from... GMC not GMC motors but like the place where they smell like vitamins and protein shit protein and all that stuff but yeah um it's a chlorophyll supplement chlorophyll is basically you know the green stuff from plants and it helps with your help with everything this helps with your digestion and stuff and it helps with like yeah it just helps to clear everything up just something to detox your body and cleanse your body so drink this on an empty stomach in the morning make this uh, make this the last thing to drink at night there's different ways you can detox your body you find something that works for you works for your body that you like okay so now that we got that back you know make sure you're eating good don't eat a bunch of junk food stop order off a of doordash you go cook something eat healthy let's get into my body care this is my shower routine my daily body care and then we're going to go into other sections so body care first things first in the shower first thing you do after you wash your body up i'm going to stand by this to the day i check okay i'm going in with some antibacterial soap from dial invest in yourself you need to invest in how you smell you need to go buy your own hygiene products I'll spend a bag every time I go to Target for hygiene products, but it's cool because it's worth it. Bar lasts you a long time, but it's just you using it, it lasts you a long time. But my family don't know how to respect themselves, and they always trying to use my stuff. Stop. You should use a bar of soap. Soap is what cleanses your body. Body washes are cool, but when you want a deep clean, you need the soap. Trust me. Once you go back to bar of soap, you'll never return. I'm not, you know, I'm not barbaric. I'm gonna use body wash. Method O oh, method. This method body wash. Don't put it in rice milk, shea butter. This is the only one I like. This is the only smell I've already messed with. Um, I love smelling like coconut. I love smelling like vanilla. I love smelling like shea butter. This will intoxify your whole entire bathroom. When you're done out the shower, the whole upstairs is going to be smelling like heaven. It is thick and creamy paws. It's going to last you a long time. A little bit goes a long way in the leather. It's chef's kiss. If you want to get eaten up, pause. This is not something I'm going to use both at the same time, but like, when I'm not using Method, I'm using Native. Now, I usually use the Native, like, the vanilla one. Bro, they have the Girl Scouts collection. Y'all see these cookies? These are my favorite cookies from Girl Scouts. I like these little, these little coconut cookie joints. Why does it smell just like it? How? What science? What did they cook up in the lab that this smells like Girl Scout cookies? I don't understand it. I don't understand. I don't understand. They cook. Bro, they can take all my money. If it's 2024 and you're using a washcloth, you're cut out. If it's 2024 and you're using a loofah, you're cut out. There's only two acceptable things to be using to me personally. Maybe three. I say one, you can use a body brush. Me personally, no, but go ahead. I think that's cool. It's exfoliating your body. Two, you could use an African net sponge, an authentic one. Don't begin on fake ones. I'm African, I'm Liberian. We call it a sapo. I've been using that joint since I was born, out the womb. We used that in the shower. But then we switched to loofahs. And I don't know why we did that. But loofahs, no, no, they don't exfoliate your body. 
they hold bacteria you have to change them every like two business days you need to invest i don't know what it's called again i think it's called an exfoliating cloth but yeah it's an exfoliating cloth by equal tools you get this from other brands i grew up with an african nut sponge and personally i like this better hot take oh so y'all this exfoliates my skin like no other my skin is left so smooth it makes no sense like it doesn't make sense to me it doesn't make sense to me if you thought your exfoliating scrub was exfoliating your skin it's not this thing will exfoliate the heck out of your skin i can actually get my back and everything i'm just never going back and like the african this much i like is nice but it be too rough it'll make the shower experience feel luxurious i feel like i'm cleaning myself by day i feel like i'm scraping my skin off this one you get the nice exfoliate and the one thing about african sponge it don't the leather the leather has an expiration date it, it'll, it'll ladder and then it'll stop this one the leather is immaculate holes like they're, they're so tiny the ones with african nut sponge are a bit bigger they're really big these ones are so tiny so the exfoliation just one thing you need from this to get from this video is this i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm not gonna lie to y'all i'm not a fan of i'm not a fan of i'll say this again i'm not a fan of but but downstairs they'll say just use water just use water i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it real i'm gonna keep it real, I'm gonna keep it real. It's self-cleaning on the inside. The outside ain't self-cleaning. It's like the outside, it's like every other body part. You can sweat. It can start to smell. It can get bad. You need something to be washing daily on the outside. Don't ever put anything inside of you. I'm trying to tell me you can wash every part of your body, but that part, bro, come on. So I'm currently using Baby Dove. I like it because it's a really big bottle. It's fragrance-free. If anything you're using is it has a fragrance, so you need to go. If you're getting a yoni wash and it got fragrance, stop it. I only I would recommend using like baby soaps that's fragrance free, sensitive, that like don't have no parabens, no something something, no dye, sulfates, all that. I think you use Cetaphil, like the fragrance free, like gentle skin cleanser stuff like that. But don't be using no yoni smells like tangerine, mango. Stop it cut it out you're going to ruin your pH balance thank you very much routine then we're gonna get into the shaving routine shaving routine so you know get in the shower exfoliate do your little body routine this has also saved my um shaving routine because my skin gets properly exfoliated before I shave when I told y'all I get no more strawberry legs strawberry legs be gone start with your little your little tree hut shade scrub I'm currently using the vanilla one because vanilla never failed me. Vanilla never failed me. This is what you're using, baby. You can get the smell you want. I'm not going to tell you what smell they get. But if you haven't bought it before, the vanilla one is nice. It's basic. It smells like vanilla. I never used to be a shaving cream girl. I never used to be a shave gel girl. I just went in there. I would use, like, conditioner or, like, my soap or something. But, you know, I've been seeing these girls with shaving routines on TikTok. And everybody be using the EOS. It's the vanilla blush. So everybody was using the EOS. So I was like, it's like three dollars. So am I really? When I told y'all this thing, if you shave and you don't use this, you are doing it wrong. It's like so it comes out as like a shaving cream, but you mix it together. When you put it on your skin, here's the key: wait a little bit. Like put it on your legs. Wait like thirty seconds. It turns into the silkiest, jelliest, like aloe vera, like smooth, butter, smooth cream consistency. I put the shaving stick on it, just glides. Like it made no sense. I was like, what have I been doing my entire life? I so what do I use to shave? What razors? Um, you know, people like use men razors, don't use something blah, blah blah blah. This is my new holy girl for shaving. Target brand five blade women's razors the problem was never men's versus women's razors it's about how many blades you're using five blades three blades no two blades you're a lunatic you want razor bumps when i tell y'all i never got a shave so smooth i'm not exaggerating i'm not exaggerating i never got a shave so smooth like i've done trial and ever like this is not my first time this is not my first time on the block and this is what's 
the best thing that's been working for me. I make this video. This is my first time doing the hydro routine. I ain't really make this video just to make this video. I made this video to show y'all what's you know what's really good, what's really not good. Thank you. I'm your big sister. I don't like to shave. It's my armpits. Yeah, I'm sorry, but when you shave your armpits, let's be real. Don't your armpits get darker? Don't you get discoloration? V V cream. I'm just not going back. Four minutes, my armpits are smooth as a baby's butt. You can be getting ready, put on a cute fit, and realize, dang, my armpit hair is low key there. I'm gonna go in the bathroom, put this on for four minutes, wipe it off, put the other on, walk out the door. So now we are going to go into post shower. Moisturize yourself, right? Get sure what do you do out the shower? This is just deodorants. Four. These all serve a purpose. Use three or old spice. If you're a woman like me and you sweat, like you actually sweat, you need to be using old spice. Dove, don't cut it for me. Secret, don't cut it for me. The closest thing I had in a women's deodorant was degree women's like sport. I don't know, women, degree women's whatever deodorant. When I told you, when I went to Old Spice, I just never, never purchased a deodorant that wasn't Old Spice ever since I started using Old Spice. And that's just my testimonial. This, pure sport. If you're an athlete, if you're super active, if you go to the gym, if you run, if you cycle, if you pickleball, you need to be using Old Spice, pure sport. It's going to get you right. It's like a gel formula. You slide it on and you go. Old Spice. I love wilderness. I think this was the first one I got. I don't know. Literally smells like lavender. My mom's like, why do you use men's deodorant? This literally has a scent of lavender. Are you crazy? So this is like a basic. Every day is going to keep you nice. It's going to keep you fresh. It is the antiperspirant and a urine. So if you're a girl like me and you actually sweat and you can't help it because you just always, your body just be releasing the water. Like, you can't help it. But you don't want to smell musty. You don't want that to be excused why you smell musty. It's sweat the scents. It only comes in the scent Fiji right now, but Fiji smells like tropical islands. It smells like Hawaii. I don't know where Fiji is. Is it in Hawaii? I don't know. It's a hot summer day. Imagine it's 7 p.m. Friday. It's 95 degrees and you sweat, but you smell your armpit and you smell fresh. That's what it does for me and as a sweaty girl, I still be smelling okay. I had this first and that's why I got this. Smell like a cookie. Smell like a cookie. Smell like a cookie. This is all I'm here for. Let's get into lotions. I don't really like to follow trends and stuff, but like, once I tried it out, I just had a. I, I don't need to say much. Vanilla cashmere. EOS body lotion. Definition of vanilla. Vanilla billa killer. Trilla filicilla. This is what I use, and this is what I use. I use two pumps per my body per day. This is what I do. I take one whole pump. I take a little bit. This is this is Vaseline, Cocoa Radiance. One pump. A little bit of this. A little bit. Because I'm, I'm I, I sweat, so I don't want too much <laughs> in the summertime. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. One pump. My whole entire upper body. Another pump, mix it with this, my lower body, boom, I'm shining, I smell like vanilla cocoa butter, I smell edible, and I only use two pumps of lotion. It's really simple as that. When it comes to smell goods, I'm sorry, I am not a perfume girly, I'm not a perfume girly, I am a Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, lotion, body sprays, I need to grow up. But something about spending $200, $300, $100 on perfume for myself, I just don't know. Like, I appreciate it as a gift, but mm, I just be thinking, like, I could pay my, my pretty little thing cart with it. I could pay my fashion over cart with it. We love the Sol de Janeiro 59 Vanilla. When I was like, some people said they hated it. It all smelled like vanilla. Da -da. This is the perfect vanilla scent because it don't smell like vanilla shea, vanilla cocoa, vanilla marshmallow, or like the other ones. It just smells like straight vanilla, like straight vanilla. Like, and like when this runs out, I'm getting another one. I might even get the the big one. That's how good this is. Like when am I like 
lotions from like Victoria's Secrets is bare vanilla just the bare vanilla spray like I'm just like a body spray I like to spray and y'all be like body sprays only lasting but like I'll put this on and it'll be the end of the school day and people still saying I smell good I'm like like I don't know something about it it just stick on me it's beautiful magnolia by Estee Lauder uh my sister got it for me that's why I use it and I don't know, I'm not really a perfume girl. Because perfume would be too strong for my scent. And body sprays just be more light, feminine for me. But it's one perfume I do like. It's Miss Dior. Okay, I'm going to be real. I got the sample one. And I love it. I want to get the big one. But I don't have the money. So, and a scent I really like is the Billie Eilish, Eilish scent. It's the perfect vanilla one. But, yeah. So I think I might get that because my sister had it and I tell y'all it was the perfect vanilla perfume. I'm really simple. I like vanilla. I like to smell girly. I like to smell fruity. Um, cocoa buttery. I don't like to smell anything crazy. Next we're going to get into oral hygiene. Brushes. I use Colgate. The Dollar toothbrushes. It don't get better than that. That's white brilliant. You know. Look at my crest. They still not going to burn. Let's try and burn me. I love... I love, love a mouthwash. They don't burn me. I just got the Crest 3D white. You know, in my house, we use Colgate. But, you know, sometimes Crest is cute. Get a tongue scraper. This is from TVS. Um, tongue scraper. Scrape your tongue. I always just use my toothbrush to brush my tongue. Like, I really go hand, ham, but, like, the metal one. Because it's not really doing a job for me. And, like, I kind of prefer my toothbrush better. More bougie. Um, get a... A water flosser well i use it after i floss so i but i use like regular like floss picks not the spring one and then i go in with um this water flosser i got this from tj maxx my shave routine we've done oral hygiene we're going to do skincare um people always ask me what's your skincare routine i'm gonna tell you guys right now on an everyday basis this is what i use I have oily combination skin. My T-zone, as you can see, very bright, is very oily. My cheeks are normal. Very V. SA cleanser, salicylic acid cleanser. Fragrance free, free mechanical exfoliants, gently ex smooth your skin. A cleanser that also exfoliates my skin. Need I need more? I just have not gone back. Ever since I started using this, my skin likes it, my skin loves it, and this is what I'm using. I've used many lotions on my face before, but nothing beats the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Mind you, I have oily combination skin, so I cannot stand when I put a lotion on my face and it makes my skin already, like, that's already oily, adds more oil to it. This is for, it says it's for normal to dry skin, but this don't add no extra oil to your face it does what it needs to do like it moisturizes your face and that's all i do yes use sunscreen on top of it sometimes i'll just use sunscreen because um if it's too hot i'll literally sweat it out so sometimes i would just use the cleanser and then the sunscreen and skip um the moisturizer because it's all the times when my skin is like facing too much texture i go in with the polish choice basically they're exfoliant that's what it has in it it's a uh, bha liquid exfoliant with salicylic acid for all skin types this is the only thing i use i get it from sephora you can do it on amazon um yeah i use a ten dollar one there's a big one for thirty dollars maybe one day i'll invest in it i hope like when i tell you it removes like if you got texture on your nose on your forehead bro like it'll literally get rid of it like it makes no skin like your the barrier of your skin would just get so smooth i'll just use um my cotton pads and to take off my makeup I don't use anything special literally all you need to take off your makeup is some oil get some oil get a cotton pad or just get some oil rub it all over your face wipe it off cleanse your face and your makeup is off and your face is clean it's simple as that so the last thing we're going to get into is my hair care i have type 4 hair type 4 b hair to be specific and it's low porosity and it's low density and she, she's just low in everything help me help me please if you don't know i had locks i no longer have locks my hair has been going through it my hair had dye damage i had cut off a lot of my hair and i had to dye it black actually um so parts of it um it's actually dark brown because the dye didn't completely take my hair was ginger i'm going to be showing y'all what i use on my low porosity type for hair the first thing i do when i take it down my protective style this is my holy grail i go in with the african pride free shampoo when I tell y'all this is $35, $5, 
I bought this from Target, but they're literally at your beauty supply store. I was just at Target one day and I started buying products. So, <sighs> it's literally the perfect thing you need when you're taking down your braids. As you take down your braids, your twists, your locks, if you had a gel hairstyle, slick back, whatever you had, when you take it down, spray your hair with water. Water. Add this. It's just gonna slick. It's just gonna. I don't care if you got the roughest hair alive. This will get you right before you wash your hair. Once I do that, and then I wash out the pre shampoo, let's send here a body. I detox in my hair. I call this a hair detox every month. Every time I take out a protective style, I detox my hair. Braids, twists, whatever. I use the Indian clay mask, the Asset clay mask. This like deep cleanses deep toxifies your hair. So after I pre shampoo, I literally use apple cider vinegar. It's literally 99 cents. Apple cider vinegar is 99 cents from the grocery store. I get apple cider vinegar. You know, you add a little bit of water. Get a really nice creamy thick consistency. Put this all over my hair. Let it sit. I don't have a time limit. You can let it sit for 30 minutes. Let it sit for an hour or two. I low porosity hair. Our cuticles are tight. So any gunk needs to get deep cleanse so use this use this every month every two months however often but i definitely suggest that you add it to your hair care routine just so i can get all the powder and stuff on my hair i'll go in with a shampoo so this is a mixture okay <laughs> i like the nozzle bottle so this has some of the carol's daughter of delight it also has the shea moisture like jamaican black castor oil black soap African black soap, I don't know, whatever line. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, that's the mixture of these two. That's why it's brown. And this is just what I use. And I've tried multiple things in this hydro routine, this hair care routine. This everything is just what literally works for me. I finally found it. After my hair is clean, squeaky clean, she's ready to be used. I go in with the shea moisture. This is the mask I use, the honey manuka mask. Low porosity friendly. My key to hair mask is the steamer. If you have the money, get a hair steamer. If you don't, get a little like mini portable clothing steamer. And basically, you know, when I'm putting my deep conditioner, I have this on my hair. Adding my deep conditioner. When I take out, it opens my cuticles. It gets the product actually into my hair. So my hair can actually get moisturized and soft and smooth as low porosity curly. Moisturize my hair. This is the um, leave-in conditioner I use. It's the Camilla Rose Moisture Milk. Best leave-in conditioner on the market. Best leave-in conditioner on the market. It's low porosity curl. I'm telling y'all, I keep saying that it's because we need special products and special care. And this is what you need. I have my homemade aerobaric um, hair butter. This is how it looks like. You know, I have my own special recipe and that is my hair butter that I make myself and that helps to lock in my moisture before I put in my protective style so my hair can actually be moisturized. This is my homemade aerobaric hair oil. It's green, the same green color. This is my perfect secret recipe and this helps my hair grow. I give, I give this to my friend. It makes her locks grow so long and healthy and nice guys so i think that's pretty much the end of today's video i really 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 hope that you guys like this video i hope you guys actually loved it i hope that you loved it so much that if you forgot to give this video a like that you give it a like right now just 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 like the video subscribe because you like this video and you're gonna like more videos that come so i really really hope you guys like this video don't forget to follow me on my social medias link down below and yeah stay tuned for more videos and yeah bye love you guys